Hello there, and welcome. So last time, got rank 2 on Phoenix City, just below Amaroth. And since then, we've been bumped down to number 3. But, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've looked at a bunch of other boards, leaderboards, because before you actually make a score on a board, it'll show you the top 10. Amaroth has, has like 11, 11k, 13k on just about every single board. That guy's hacked. And uh, I've emailed um, Dino Polo Club and um, uh, to bring that to their attention that hey that's a thing, and they said that and they actually responded and said that they would look into it. Um, so because uh, it's really really sucks to be trying to get a legitimate top uh, top one score and you can't get it because somebody has hacked the game. Um, so. That's a thing. Uh, this score by Kilgore, I totally believe. That's a, that's a totally doable score. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to think of what else to do. Because I, like, uh, I like working on one map for a bit. And I played Mind the Gap uh, some months ago. And at the time, I got uh, rank 6. And since then, I have been knocked down to rank 31. Um, so, hey, fair play there. 25 people have gotten better scores. So I figure to try this, and this is Unlimited Bridges, and awarded half the number of hotels each week. I don't remember what this map is anyway. E anyway, um, so it'll be interesting to find find out what it is. Um, because I kind of don't want to just crank through the challenges on Warsaw and Chiang Mai because I've played those maps a bit here in the past little bit. I would assume is that playing different maps will be uh, interesting for both you and me. On the general subject of roundabouts, um, one pe one argument that I have yeah, don't think I've actually fielded yet is I've gotten some pretty darn high scores without roundabouts. Well, self-evidently. If roundabouts are that important, it's like, hey, then how am I getting those high scores? This is interesting. Uh, how do I want to wrap that? This is better. Well, um, it's like, oh, this is solvable. <laughs> okay, is that this? This is solvable. Um, Sure. 
as soon as the map expands, I'll bring this up what, but this road up by one and separate the networks. Okay, so my recollection is that light blue populates this island. Is that correct? My miscellaneous plan is to just wait for another neighborhood and reroute, which is basically the same plan I have for here. feeling the pinch of not having enough roadways. I do have a motorway and I'm hesitant to use it. something like that was going to occur. beginning to have some recollections on this board okay so light blue there winds up being a light blue neighborhood down here I think and there's another light blue and then there will be another yellow a light blue neighborhood somewhere sound or am I thinking of another map? I'm not sure. Three motorways at 300 points is not the worst place to be in the world. It is light blue.
got 11 tiles. This needs to be stay needs to stay connected. Is this one of those boards where all the greens are over here, all the green neighborhoods are over here, and all the green oh, most of the green destinations are over there? like it may be. I am tight on resources. to separate these yellow and uh, this two double yellow blue destination Okay, so this dark blue neighborhood should probably be motorway to this fellow. These four reds, I, right. Okay, this mess just got a whole hell of a lot more simplified. 
Uh, this light blue is not going to survive on just these two uh, fellows. I'm hoping that with taking up these roads, other light blues will pop up into being right here. That would be lovely. I have 15 road tiles. This guy is going to need attention. I could run these down to him and these around here to this guy, maybe? Then that would be in crossing this light blue network. But then I could, if I can get these guys around here, then these two blues can go directly up, up there. So. Red's doing, I don't know. This guy's calm. Hey. Hello. We seem to have come to surge territory. So these four should help calm down these two, right? Don't have a traffic light for that. I'll get back to you later. <sighs> this yellow group, ideally I bring motorways somewhere, but do I have any motorways that are unnecessary. Mm -hmm. 
I can afford to let this guy tick up a little bit. handling that, that this surge would work. Some, I guess they, I, I'm going to have to watch what, what wound up happening. I guess they wound up all going to this guy and none went to this guy. Um, huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 destinations. Um, there is a fair bit of escalation, but the amount of ro of uh, motorways that I had, uh, cause I was thinking that, okay, surge that, put this back over here, get that uh, line do and back to doing what it's supposed to. Um, I still needed to figure out that only 14,000, 1476 points. Okay. I'm going to try this again. I do not mind this this particular challenge. I could have been a little bit more aggressive in finding and in, in pushing my put implementing solutions. Yeah, I could have been a little bit more aggressive. Of course, the response are somewhat aggressive, I think. Something else is that can foil long-term games is decision fatigue. Which I don't think I've d discussed this much, or if at all. Because every, as you're playing this game, you're making a bunch of decisions about how to connect things. It's like, oh, do I connect these two houses around here or around this way? Oh, it's cheaper to go uh, go this way. Oh, do I, you know, you, you you have various and sundry. Uh, even with with just this far in the game, there were a number of choices. So the game is constantly throwing new situations where you have to make choices, which that's what makes it a game. Um, but the longer you you do more likely as that you can get decision fatigue whereby it's like okay 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 and then your brain whatever the, the problem solving part of your brain goes oh uh, I, I don't know i don't know um
So what to do about the scission fatigue? I have no idea. Everybody's mind works a little bit differently. This is... I got 26 points. 26 points. I got 26 road tiles. This is not long term. Roadway's good. straight up here and run the reds underneath I think I'm going to implement that solution spot for another blue right here and I suppose this is a, a could potentially be a blue as well um, yeah that feels a little bit more true This is a surefire way, or, way to incentivize the game to create a larger light blue neighborhood on this side of the road. This will be temporary because a uh, green neighborhood should develop over here. solution here I would have needed a motorway this Thank you. 
It's time to make people angry. Possibility space right there. Okay, okay. This is easy to do right now to connect these into this particular network. to take these and run them up here, but I have this, which the simplest line would be to do this number. So I might as well separate these two networks. This guy here is probably my best motorway target. Um, or how is it already connected? to minimize the rotor tiles. Alright. Alright. Okay. So we get back to this guy. Uh, expecting this to yeah now that this is in play I could run a bridge across here so I could run a bridge, uh, oh, hello. That's me not paying attention.
This is not a good situation. One motorway supporting four destinations is not a good idea. Um, I want to be able to salvage this. These two are relatively happy. I'm going to need another motor. Okay, so this area, I'm going to need to motorway right here. And then uh, I'm going to need to make another motorway going to here to serve these two. That is the first step in solving that particular problem. When I motor, will do this second motorway, I'll then be able to run a line of yellows up to here to separate these two, which is going to be something that needs to happen. Can we muscle through? I have only 11 road tiles to work with. Do I run this neighborhood through this yellow line? Yes, I do. guys are calm. If I can get back some road, uh, some road tiles really quick so as I can then affect the solution that I need over here, that would be good. Okay. So this, excuse me, this has to stay. Well, I put that back into place. Come on already. <laughs> I'm trying to solve problems here. Move it away. I think. I think. 
think my longest, oh hey, I have some. I would like to do this solution because this grid is ticking up, but, um, and, and have the yellows swing around in here for economy, but I have limited number of vertiles. Okay, so, Solve that with what? <laughs> okay, so this map isn't lost yet. Yet is such an operative term. Um, the light blues are chill. I'm going to run this line through here and connect here and get a few rotiles back to work with. So what's my plan here? My plan is to route the dark blues up to here, R route the this red neighborhood through to here, route this group of reds up to here, forget this red neighborhood for the moment. That gets me back a motorway, I think. I still have, I still have this. I think it'll work. Okay. These three will get through over to this guy. So this massive yellow neighborhood now supports this fellow. What was I thinking about say, move, shifting this neighborhood? Uh, this neighborhood, because this guy needs support, right? thinking that I'm 
these two that are ready to kill me should be satisfied. Should. Um, how do I want to solve this? this house wasn't here, I could route these, uh, these light blues around to him, motorway the other neighborhood. Um, I could get this motorway back. And then figure something out. I like that plan. Get the motorway back and figure something out. That's bad. That's a bit, feels a bit dumb. Did not mean to take that motorway off. This guy needs something, right? So I'm at least going to send him these two. These rotiles should come back. Got a few extra rotiles. It is a long way until I get more anything. I like the idea of doing a small route that gets, supports both of these double network thing. This fellow is still going to need more support. I suppose the short-term solution, this is dumb, um, the short-term solution is that which is awful. Turning more houses over to here. I need to be paying attention to as soon as this motorway comes back. Who's, who's ticking up? Are you ticking up? Are you really ticking up? Anybody that gets in in uh, in hot place needs to be going. To, okay, there we go. Please calm down. 
Rotar is good. Okay. Put this guy over here. Okay. This guy is supported. This is an awful solution. This has not yet come back. In lieu of waiting, I'm going to connect these networks so as that these still have some on the way and then I will reconnect this when I get it back. Because life is life. I connected that had I waited a uh, half a second more. This is getting aggravated. Need to take that off. And that off. <sighs> I hope I don't die here. is really ready to go that and I'm dead um I was being thrown a lot of problems I had to do a lot of double network stuff I did this monstrosity um As soon as this uh, um, uh, destination would come in, then that would be a trip again, again, a triple network, a triple network. I have a five destination network here. Um, this is this is rough, but I I don't hate it. I because you have Chiang Mai is rough, and I don't like it. This is rough, and I and and it's like okay, this is this is decent challenge um i don't know what the difference is um but there there you go but anyway um a mere, a mere 1600 and change okay there you go two games on mind the gap um what what is what is my actual best score on this map 2888 I do think I can do. I do think I can get it back up there. Um, this is definitely a challenging map. Um, I would be surprised if uh, a 4K run on this is possible. Um, hey, there's the Floydson. Floydson. Rank 36. Cool. We're mere. We're, we're about 40 points away from each other. Cool. Okay, I am had fun on this this map. I'm going to uh, crank out some more games on it, uh, I think. And um, let's try and get, better, get, try and get a better score. So, anyway, um, uh, I hope you had a good time. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. And cheers.